Okay, so now let us solve two uh, simple problems related to logical equivalences. So the first problem is show that negation of P or negation P and Q and the statement negation P and negation Q. Both these statements are logically equivalent by developing a series of logical equivalences. So let us write the solution of this. So I will start with my left hand side. Now I'm not going to show this by using truth table. You have to develop a series of logical equivalences. So I will start with the left hand side. So the left hand side is negation of P or negation P and Q. There's a negation to everything. So this is my left hand side. Okay. Now this is uh, equivalent to what? Now this is equivalent to something like this. We know that negation of A or B is equivalent to by D Morgan's law. What is D Morgan's law say by a, a negation of A or B is negation A and negation B. Okay, so here this is this is this this is looking like your A or this is looking like your what this is looking like your B. So this this is looking at your B and this is like your a so what is the negation of this statement equivalent to it is equal to negation of the first person means negation of the first person is p then it gets converted to and and negation of the second person who is the second person the second person is negation p and q okay this is the simplification of the first step so what have i used here what have i used here i have used here d morgan's law okay so by d morgan's law now in the next step i will again use the d morgan law but i will use it for what i will use it for this part right what is negation of a and b the negation of a and b is equivalent to negation a or the and gets converted to or negation b so here this person the negation p person this person is looking like a this is looking like b so the rest thing i will keep it as it is i will not disturb that part okay so what is this equivalent to? Let me write it in the next step. It's equivalent to negation P and let me write the answer in the square bracket. Negation of the first person. What is negation of the first person is negation P or negation of the second person. Who is the second person? Second person is Q. Negation of Q. So this is now equivalent to what? Let me erase the other stuff, which is equivalent to negation P and square bracket. What is negation of negation P? So this step from this step to this step, I have again used what? I have again used De Morgan's law, okay? I'm specifying which law I have used, okay? Uh, now, what is an what is the next? What is negation of negation P? Negation of negation P is called as P because we know that. What is this law? What is the name of this law? The name of this law was negation law. I hope you remember what is the negation law. Negation of negation P is P or negation Q, right? So I will carry the uh, carry the same step on the next page. Negation P and 
P or negation Q. Negation P and P or negation Q. Let me check if I have written the same thing. Yes. Which is equivalent to negation. Now, what is this? How will I solve this? Now, I want to simplify this. Okay. Now, you see that this is an and outside and this is an or inside. So, this is looking like A and B or C. And I'm going to simplify this by using the law called as distributivity. We have also learned the law of distributivity. What is distributivity? A and B or A and C. A and B or A and C. <coughs> so I will write that now. Negation P. Negation P and P or negation P and negation Q. Okay, so I have used here which law? I have used here distributivity. So let me write it in the corner. I will write the name of the law. Distributivity. This is the question, okay? Which is equivalent to now what is negation P and P? Negation P and P is equal to false. It's a contradiction. It's F. Okay, this law also we have done. Or this is as it is negation P and negation Q. And what is false or P? It is equivalent to P. So what is false or this statement? It will be the same statement. It is negation P and negation Q. Okay. What was uh, this thing called? I think this thing was called as identity law. I suppose it is called as identity law. Either it is identity law or uh, it's domination law, some law. Okay. So please check it in your books identity or domination law. I think it is identity law. And this is nothing but your right hand side. What was your right hand side? The right hand side was this negation p and negation q we started with the left hand side simplified it and we got the right hand side so the two statements are logically equivalent by developing a series of logical equivalences okay let us try one more problem show that p and q implies p or q is a Tautology. Now let us try to solve this particular problem. Let's see how it comes. Solution. I want to show that it is equivalent to a tautology. So this is my left hand side complete. And what is my right hand side? My right hand side should come to be T. Answer should come to be T. That's a tautology. So LHS I will copy. My left hand side is P and Q implies P or Q. Okay, which is equivalent to. Now, what is this equivalent to? That's what we want to think. Okay, P implies Q is equivalent to. Let me not write P implies Q. Let me write A implies P. We have proved in our previous problems that A implies B is equivalent to negation A or B. We proved it negation A or B. So this is playing the role of A and this person is playing the role of B. 
okay so this means that this is equivalent to negation of the first statement negation of the first statement is p and q or second statement is p or q which is equivalent to now what is negation of so this is how how did i get the statement i will write it in the rough work here a implies b is equivalent to negation a or b okay we have proved this as an exercise you have to remember this conditional equivalence okay very important it will be used in many problems what is negation of p and q so here i am going to use again de morgan's law so it is equivalent to negation of p or negation of q bracket or p or q now here all the connectives that are given to us in this step this is a or this is also or this is also or so here you don't need distributivity when do you need distributivity we need distributivity when there is and with or in the same statement but there is everything is or so i can simply open all these brackets so we'll get that it is negation p or negation q or p or q everything is or so i will bring this negation p and this p together so this is negation p or p or negation q or q i will write the same step in the next page which is negation p or p or negation q or q what is negation p or p negation p or p is true it's a tautology or what is negation q or q negation q or q is also what is also a tautology what is true or true the value of true or true is nothing but true for example value of true or false what is true or false equal to it is true what is true or true is true what is false or true that is also true what is false or false false or false is false this is the table of or okay p or q okay so true or true is actually equal to true this means that we have reached the right hand side and therefore we can declare that p and q implies p or q is a tautology this we have proved by using what by developing a series of logical equivalence that is without using the truth table